mean, if you're running a hospital and you're talking about the patient experience, you probably care a lot about hiring, like making sure you have good employees. And that's a big challenge. It's not a downer. It's a real challenge. And I think a lot of places are, are probably trying to wade mm. through right now. Are you guys, do you have a plan in place for overcoming it? Is this just one of those things that almost sometimes like when you're a parent and you're in it, it's like time heals all things in some ways. How are you guys overcoming that challenge? This is a, it's a very interesting phenomenon and I have to take part of the credit for it because it was really my idea. I said, we have some money that we've had in funds that have been donated over the years. And I said, why don't we start buying things that employees had asked for before that we were turning down? We ought to make sure that the environment for them to work in is the place they want to go to. So everything they've asked for in the last, I'm on the allocations committee, which is we buy things that aren't in budget. So we're purposely allowing almost everything that's being asked for to be paid for. So in, in the children's hospital, we have something called the Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Everything they want, put toys, entertainment, whatever's going to make the, and we're thinking of the employees now. We're not doing this for patient care. We're saying, how are we going to make sure the environment for our employees is one where they, because we're going to ask them to continue to work hard to make up for the shortage. It's a good environment. So that's how, that's our plan right now that we get back up to full employment. 